Welcome to this week's broadcast. The story of baby Moses. I'm going to read from Exodus 1, from verse 8. Now there arose a new king over Egypt who did not know Joseph. And he said to his people, Behold, the people of Israel are too many and too mighty for us. Come, let us deal harshly with them. Unless they multiply, and if war breaks out, they join our enemies and fight against us and escape from the land. Therefore they set taskmasters over them to afflict them with heavy burdens. In other words, they made them slaves. They built for Pharaoh store cities. But the more they were oppressed, the more they multiplied, and the more they spread abroad. And the Egyptians were in dread of the people of Israel. So they ruthlessly made the people of Israel work as slaves and made their lives bitter with hard service in mortar and brick. So they had to make bricks and a type of cement they called mortar and build the construction that Pharaoh wanted. The story of baby Moses. So the challenge is stack it up. Okay, so you're gonna stack as many marshmallows as you can above each other, other as high as, as possible. Okay? So you're gonna build a tower. Okay? Don't grab as much as you can because you're gonna waste some. Grab one by one as you build your tower. The story of baby Moses. Welcome to Raymond's Kitchen. Today we're gonna make Egyptian crust bread. Oh, ash baladi. You will need one tablespoon active dry yeast, two and a half cup warm water, five cups whole wheat flour. We will only use normal flour because we don't have whole wheat flour. One tablespoon salt, one tablespoon oil, plastic wrap. Last meeting ball. A whisk. Instructions. Take a large ball. The whisk and the yeast. Whisk water and mix it together. And 
Fertility for me for 10 mana. Add two and a half cups of flour until it's smooth. Cover it with plastic wrap and let it stand for 30 minutes. Then with your hands, stir in the salt and oil into the dough. Add the two cups and the half flour. Two and a half cup. Knead the dough until it's smooth and elastic. About 10 minutes! Place it in a large greased bowl that you grease with oil. Cover it with plastic wrap until it doubles inside. This is about one and a half hours. Place a baking stone in the oven. Thirty minutes. Punch the dough down. Are you enjoying this? Yeah. So I'm just putting the dough in the oven. Make the dough into balls and out. Make the fire out. Let's stick it. Let's make them into cookies and shapes. Divide it in 16 parts. Roll each part into a ball and flatten it into 5 inch circles. Lightly sprinkle flour over two parchment papers lining the baking sheet. Stack the dough circles in the sheet and loosely cover them. The kitchen towel for 30 minutes. Prepare the filling you wish to use for your ice bloody. Place the dough on a hot stone. Bake until it is puff lightly brown. Six to eight minutes. Transfer the ice baladi to a rack and let it cool for five minutes before serving. Enjoy! The story of Baby Moses. Erola Jet, Mummy has been inserted on the 16th of September 2020. We shall investigate and see how it goes. The story of Baby Moses.
and in all kinds of work in the field. In all their work they ruthlessly made them work as slaves. Then the king of Egypt said to the Hebrew midwives, one of whom was named Shepra and the other Pua, When you serve as midwives to the Hebrew woman and see them on the birth stool, if it's a son, you shall kill him. But if it's a daughter, she shall live. But the midwives feared God and did not do as the king of Egypt commanded them, but let the male children live. So the king of Egypt called the midwives and said to them, Why have you done this? And let the male children live. The midwife said to Pharaoh, Because the Hebrew women are not like the Egyptian women, for they are vigorous and give birth before the midwives come to them. God dealt with the midwives. God dealt well with the midwives, and the people multiplied, and they grew very strong. And because the midwives feared God, he gave them families. Then Pharaoh commanded all his people, Every son that is born to the Hebrews you shall cast into the Nile River, but you shall let every daughter live. Now a man from the house of Levi took as his wife a Levite woman. The woman conceived and bore a son, and when she saw that he was a fine child, she hid him for three months. When she could hide him no longer, she took him in a basket she put the child in it and placed it among the reeds by the river bank and his sister stood at a distance to know what would be done to him what would happen now the daughter of pharaoh came down to bath at the river while her young woman walked beside the river she saw the basket among the reeds and sent her servant woman and she took it when she opened it she saw the child and behold the baby was crying She took pity on him and said, This is one of the Hebrews' children. Then his sister said to Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I go and call a nurse from the Hebrew woman to nurse the child for you? And Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Go. So the child went and called the boy's mother, her own mother. And Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Take this child away and nurse him for me, and I will give you wages. She'll pay the mother to feed her baby son and to protect him. So the woman took the child and nursed him. When the child grew up, she brought him to Pharaoh's daughter and he became her son. She named him Moses because she said, I drew him out of the water. The story of baby Moses. Tear the paper into small tiny pieces like this into your container. You can use different colored paper. We use the old yellow pages book, or some post-its, some old gift wrapping paper. Normal paper as well. Scraps. Any paper you like. And the next part, we're going to pour water 
over the paper just enough to cover all the paper and then you're going to leave it for a few hours so that it can become mushy now we're gonna pour water into the paper over the paper After you pour in the water, let it soak for a few hours before you put it in a blender and blend it into a pulp. Okay, okay. now you can add flavoring or coloring. Oh my. So you has added blue food coloring. great fun then you can also add all sorts of decorations like beads wool string you can even like Rayma include lavender this is dried lavender you can even uh, put seeds in it and then you can plant it that's also an option so we've got these trays after they've mixed it with the food coloring and whatever they want to include yeah, look at this this is how it actually looks what and it looks like now look at that yes Ready that's then. beautiful all right then you're going to use different methods to squeeze the water out you can see different options we have here and you can shape it on a tray and then leave it somewhere in the sun to dry it might take a day or even two days to dry completely and then you'll have your paper let's quickly pray together and we pray for our friends that they will also um, get to know Jesus thank you Jesus let Jesus make our lives and let we just come learn with Jesus everything in the world and everything to do in the world and be with Jesus in my heart Amen as we read the word of God, it's like we're eating food for our inner man, for our spirit being, to be filled with him. Okay, until next time. Bye. Goodbye. Bye.